Finally, what causes shifts in the interest rate? This is of immense importance to anybody who's looking at home buying. And so anytime you look at uh, banks, they always say, now's the time to buy a house. Interest rates are going up. So what makes interest rates go up and down? The two big things that make interest rates go down are if the Fed increases the money supply or if GDP or income goes down. And so this is just how the economy naturally operates, is that low income means that people don't need as much money. They're going to demand less money. The other thing that can make interest rates go down is if the Fed deliberately increases the supply of money. And so that's what the Fed started to do after the 2008 recession. They increased the money supply designed to help spending designed to lower interest rates so that people could borrow for a car loan, borrow for a home loan, borrow for a business loan. So that is why we see interest rates very low. So after 2009, interest rates were about 0.25% or lower. All right, that's really low. Part of it is because poor economics performance, but the other part of it is that the Fed has increased the money supply. So I'll start with this one. If the Fed increases the money supply, if the Fed increases the money supply from here to here, the equilibrium interest rate drops. So R goes down if the interest rate goes down. Oh, excuse me, R goes down if the money supply goes up. So anytime you talk about the Federal Reserve stimulating the economy or, or printing money or increasing the money supply, th this increase in the money supply makes interest rates go down. That's how you draw how interest rates got so low after 2009. Now it goes the other direction. Interest rates go up if the money supply goes down or if Y goes up. So an improving economy should raise interest rates without any central bank acting. All right? So you could go the other direction and say the Fed is going to tighten the money supply. And that's a real phrase that people use, that the Fed will tighten the money supply. They're basically going to put less money in the economy. If you shift the curve this way, interest rates go up. And so this is what's called raising rates. Oops. Raising rates. That the Federal Reserve will raise rates or raise interest rates by cutting the money supply with the different tools that they have for monetary policy. And so the Federal Reserve causes the rate to go up. And so a lot of home buyers always worry that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates because it increases the cost of a home loan, which means they might not buy a house. 